The controversy over political cartoons featuring the Prophet Muhammad continued to enrage Muslims overseas. Today, hundreds of protesters clashed with police and NATO peacekeepers outside the Danish diplomatic mission office in Kabul, Afghanistan. Police used batons to beat the stone-throwing rioters. Several were injured. There were similar protests in Iran and Pakistan today. The series of cartoons at issue portray Prophet Muhammad as a terrorist. They first appeared in a Danish newspaper back in September, but they were republished just a few days ago. And these 12 Danish uh, cartoonists that are responsible are reportedly now in hiding, and they're under police protection tonight because they're worried rioters may attack them. So. What does the Muslim community here in the Tampa Bay area have to say about all these violent protests? Well, I went out to find out. To, be best. to Muslims, the political cartoons created by Danish artists depicting the Prophet Muhammad are not only sacrilegious, they are disrespectful. Some Bay Area Muslims may have asked themselves this week, what would Muhammad do? According to local Muslim leaders, he wouldn't do this. Muhammad represents peace but this fallout from the cartoon has been anything but peaceful yeah and uh, american muslims and majority of muslims around the world reject the violent reaction ahmed badir director of tampa's council on american islamic relations says while american muslims reject the violent response to the cartoon controversy the caricatures now reaching other european middle eastern and asian newspapers are beyond satire Basically, the Danish shouldn't have gone there. They shouldn't have gone there, especially at this time. And Badir says the illustrations are a form of hate speech that worries him. The biggest argument is First Amendment, free speech. Yeah, but then that's a double-edged sword. Badir says he will push Bay Area Muslims to be proactive instead of reactive. Badir says educating the misunderstood through examples of good character. The Muslim leader says as the prophet Muhammad would. How should the Danish government handle this? Is there any forgiveness or is there anything they can do to make up for it? Well, they can send positive messages that they did not intend to uh, offend or provoke. And the National Council on American Islamic Relations will speak out against the violent protest this Sunday, and that will be in Washington, D.C.